a opportunity. One day I walked in the arena and I sat down and I was looking at Kenny Saylor's jersey and I'm thinking, what can we do to honor somebody like Fennis who transformed a generation of basketball in Wyoming? He wasn't just a really good player. Obviously, he was the all-time leading scorer and at the time the all-time leading re rebounder. Uh, but he was a personality. He had a charisma and a style that we've never seen before or since at the University of Wyoming. This, we are retiring number 34, Fennis Dembo's jersey. Fennis Dembo's jersey will not be worn again by a Wyoming Cowboy basketball player. Fennis transformed an entire generation of Wyoming fans and around the region. In my opinion, the most impactful player in our history. The name, Fennis, has energy, enthusiasm, but he exemplified skill, power, fun, engagement, and charisma. When I think of Fennis and his teammates, I think of him sitting on that backboard after they beat Clemson, getting ready to go to New York City. I think of him running down the floor in the NCAA tournament, winking at Brent Musburger as he just hung 40 on Reggie Miller in UCLA. I remember him waving to the student section in New Mexico. He was on the free throw line. Make some noise, get after it. But what we all don't know as fans, we're talking about the consummate teammate. And at this time, I would like everyone to turn attention as we raise the second jersey in our history, the first, Kenny Sailors, the second, Fennis Dembo. Thanks, um, it's very emotional uh, to see something like this happen uh, coming from San Antonio, 18 year old and playing basketball here for four years, University of Wyoming, never envisioned something like this on this day happening and all the great support you get from the fans here in uh, Wyoming playing for this university and we had great memories, you know, we went to New York, we did Seattle, you know, we showed them that, hey, basketball is played here in the WAC and here in uh, Wyoming. I want to uh, say thank you to my family, my brother, his wife, Juanita, my girlfriend, uh, Pam, and my teammates to come and share this special moment with me. You know, Tim Hunt, we got Reggie Fox, Sean Den, hey, the big warrior, John Summers. He made me tough. Uh, I wanted to make sure I give him a special shout out because uh, I was a freshman coming in here playing and having to practice against John Summers every day. It made me go back to that dorm and figure out, hey, man, you got to get tough and you're going to have to play a lot better playing this league. So thank you, John. And also I have this. Um, I wasn't able to bring no national championship here to the University of Wyoming, but I have this special moment now because we're getting married here uh, tonight. Me and Wyoming Athletic Department. And I want to give you a ring that I won with the Detroit Pistons. I'm giving this to the Athletic Department. My championship ring that I won with the uh, Detroit Pistons. Here you go, Tom Barton. I can tell you, Fennis, speaking for all of these people and all of the fans around Wyoming who aren't here today, you don't owe us anything, my man. And we almost feel guilty taking your championship ring, but I know you are happy to do this for the University of Wyoming. We will display it. We will honor it. We don't get many NBA champions that come through 72-20, but we got one right here, and we're thrilled to have him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go Pokes.
Fans, let's hear it one more time for number 34, Finnis Dimbo.